Hey there guys, Josh C with Seppel. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption. I'm uh, down here in Tall Tree, or Beecher's Hope now. It just started raining. It literally just started raining. I start the episode and it literally started raining, which is kind of a good thing because there's a stranger mission that I just have to tackle before I do anything else. And I think you know who that is. Because he knows you. What do you want this time? Hey, there's a beautiful spot. Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? In a way. What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico. I know you're from back out west. I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. This is a fine spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. No. No, this can't be. No. Oh, I think it is. How did I never know that before? I am such an idiot. Oh. Well, I mean, I knew that. Believe me, if you knew what I was... I don't want to tell you what I'm talking about, but... I know this place. That's not what I'm talking about. Not what I'm talking about at all. If you have played this game, you know what I'm talking about. And I can't believe I've never noticed that before. Uh, what's going on over here, fellas? Oh, just travelers. All right. Let's see. Where do I want to go? We could do, do a mission or we complete another stranger. Let's do a mission. I at least like to do a mission. In this, uh... In this episode, so... I'm gonna head to Blackwater and I'll meet up with MacDougall. And we'll do that mission. See you when I get there. Is there a doctor here? Whoa! Stranger! Who are you, stranger? Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. Perfect. As honesty is in my business, the worst policy. I work for a well-respected governor named Johns. That makes sense. Now. There is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Suppose I can handle that? For the right price? Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me, and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. You should be proud. Certainly, man. I'll, I'll do all those for you. Blackmail photos. I'll, I'll deliver them. I'll take them. I'll even be in them. Whatever you need. It's just newspapers just sitting there. I guess they are. Oop, didn't want that. I wanted the map. I wanted to see, is there a doctor anywhere? In here? Oh yeah, all the way down there. All right, we'll do it after MacDougal. Although maybe I should do it before MacDougal. Nah, let's just risk it. Why not? Incredible, simply incredible. 
Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day, good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. Ah, <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I have quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It, it takes one back to a primal state. It, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know. We cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinay. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Yep, just, uh... That's just obvious. Where are you going, horse? No, come back. Don't go the other way. Come this way. Come on, McDougal. Get on your horse. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No! You can have him when he's dead. A white man living among nations. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration hmm. or regressive acculturation. I'm gonna try and not hang out with you as much. But I don't think that's gonna be able to be possible. What? Surfing great waves of euphoria. Oh no. You're a fedora wearing neckbeard, aren't you? Euphoria and all that. Yeah. Let me guess you're also an atheist. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything, dear boy. They're shooting at us? Yeah, you probably think they're much more inferior as well. Well, I mean, who has bigger population? Of course, I mean, <laughs> humans. <laughs> uh, you can't compare the buffalo to a human. Just not fair. <laughs> Somewhat backwards there. It's because it's raining. I love this area of the map. Just enjoyable, overall. I 
Good for hunting Sasquatch. Oh, something I found out. Uh, there is a scene missing from, I think, the last episode. I think it was the last episode. Yeah, there is a scene missing. Where uh, Louisa tries to save Reyes and get shot. I don't know why I didn't play. I li I'm being serious. I literally don't know. I didn't skip it. I didn't cut it out. It just never played. So you got me. I don't know what happened. At least here, this is snow and not blinding sand. Snow in itself is blinding. You ever been to Canada? Stayed there for a week. Couldn't see a thing. Fun time. Alright, get, get off the horse. Get off the... Oh. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Usually drug addicts are more accepting of crazy things. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. He's very polite. I like him. He calls me Mr. Marston and actually shows me respect. Unlike the others. Oh, I forgot you could do this. And you never have to use his climbing abilities whatsoever. I forgot. He, uh... He can just hang onto a ledge. Ah, here we go. Assassin's Creed. Red Dead Redemption. Assassin's Creed Redemption. Here we go. Yeah. Assassin's Creed Redemption Unity. It's a piece of shit. <laughs> what are we doing here? What is this place? I think there's a path through this cave. Where's the cave? I don't see it. Is it all the way up there? Oh, no, it's right there. Duh, it was in the mountain. Where else would a cave be? In the ground? Yes, look at this. A mine shaft. Yeah, I guess technically this is a mine shaft. With TNT. Oh, joy. Nicote Rock. That's a fine rock. I don't know if I'd name it Nakodi, but maybe Nazak. <laughs> There's dual rocks, Nazak and Nakodi. This way. Where the fuck did he come from? Explosive. Oh fuck. Shit. 
<laughs> oh man, that was funny. All right, let's get going before they drop it down. Oh yeah, okay, let's go. Get out of here. Shit. Ow. Oh fuck, you're up there. What was the Why did I shoot off in the distance? I'm an idiot. Hey, a chest. I'm not an idiot. I'm somewhat of an idiot. What is going on with the counter there? It's freaking out, man. Hey, oh, you made it. Cool. I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. You sure? Because I don't like the cut of your jib. Or, well, I mean, I do like the cut of your jib. I just don't like the cut of your arm. I just need to rest a while. You'd be safe. Just be careful. Can I go up this way? Is it a sort of self-made roll? Nope, can't go up this way. Oh shit. I somehow survived? I don't know how. Let's just right, go this way then. I can't go up a roller coaster, but I can climb up rocks. What? Do you hear growling? I hear growling. And I don't like the sound of that growling. I'm afraid of what awaits me. Well, I knew it! Uh. Okay, not gonna work. Not gonna work. This ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Fall. Oh, hold. Oh. Not as scary as I thought. Oh, shit. Was that a goat? Yeah, that's a goat. Thought it was a human. A naked human. Come on. Let's get this over with. I don't I don't know why I was more scared of a naked human than just a dead human. I mean a dead naked human, but it, you you know what I mean. I was just for some reason I was more afraid of the fact that it was naked than dead. I don't know why. I guess the thought of like what was this person doing with a bear naked? That, I think that scares me the most of all. Grizzly tooth. Cool. I definitely have to go hunting. I gotta get beaver hides and stuff like that for that, that fella down in Mexico who's trying to... They're going again with fella. Why am I calling everybody fella? He's trying to build a flying machine. He, need be he needs beaver hides. Because he hit climb. Thank you. He has trouble finding his own beaver. Although I don't think they're native to Mexico. I honestly don't even know where to find them. I guess near Thieves Landing. Oh hey, another goat. Overreaction! Clip the mic very, very loud. Where the fuck did it go? Where did it go? Get up there, John. Get the fuck up there. Oh, shit. Where is it? Where the fuck is that thing? No, don't climb off the cliff! Get up on the cliff! For fuck's sake! Where is this thing? Where is it? I am spiking the mic terribly. I am so sorry. Let's all calm down. Get this thing out of hiding. Oop. Okay. If that didn't kill it, I don't know what will. I should have 
been paying attention. I mean, there was a dead animal. Where else would a dead animal come from? I just hope I can edit that so it doesn't hurt your ears. <laughs> Am I climbing up this way? Ah, uh, fun. Where the hell did that thing go? I'm pretty sure that was a cougar. Nastis, you okay? There's a cougar on the loose. And I don't mean Courtney Cox. Oh shit! Good. Damn it. Cougars got me all scared. I got scared by a bird. For a second I thought cougars were flying now. This is a crazy age. Everything's going wild. Oh, shit. I thought that rabbit on the edge was the same rabbit on the ground. I thought, how the hell did he do that? Ooh, bird feathers. I need you. Alright, I don't need you. Never mind. Dutch, are you up here? Please let this be worth it. I got a creep up, baby. Do 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 do. Creep up, baby. How the fuck am I missing him? There we go. Who are you? I don't know what Dutch looks like. Okay, that's Dutch. Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm gonna leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <laughs> <clears throat> he heard the gunshots, but not the fucking cougar. Yeah, thanks, Nasus. But seriously, thank you. You saved me. Uh. Yeah, we'll go back and talk to MacDougal. But. Oh, hey, I got a trophy. But I want to get some medicine. Because I feel like now I might need it. Wherever this doctor is. Where are you? Where are you? Come on. Oh. It's like right here. Somewhere. Photographer. Physician. And of course, he's closed. All right. Well, 
What's going on? You talking to me? Nobody calls me Yella. Uh, oh, there we go. Let's accept it. Where am I walking to? Chuckies, Billery. You're a Frenchman who somehow knows how to fire a gun and not just drop it on the ground. I don't think that was a French accent. As much as I wanted to try. Draw, 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 fucking draw! Fuck! How did I lose that? How the hell did I lose that? Oh, fucking finally. How did I get in this room? I could not find my way here last episode. Like, none of the doors were opening. Must have glitched out. Well, while I'm here, I might as well sleep. So I'll see you in the morning after I've gotten medicine and we'll talk back to MacDougal. Okay, we're not going to go to MacDougal real qu right now. We'll do it real quickly. Uh, I forgot. I have these photos to uh, get rid of. Oh. I think that this lady, because she seems to have just spawned in. No? Okay, so then you are, then this person is definitely inside. Alright, cool. It must be you then. Hey there, fella. What do you think of our governor, Nate Johns? Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying, backstabbing bastard, I'd like to see him horse whipped. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Uh. <laughs> uh, as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> Wise man. <sighs> what was on the photographs? I would like to know that. And eh, I was going to say, why didn't he do it? But I guess I, he can't be seen doing that. Understandable. Talk to him. Oh, $22. Alright, yeah. That's fair. $22 to just run back and forth five feet. Alright. Let's talk to MacDougal. Well, yeah. Let's do it. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> ah, Marston, sir! It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me, I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use it, but you ought to such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the knobs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to say both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Why am I trusting this druggy doctor again? Wait, I don't even think he's a doctor. I think he's just a guy who failed to be a doctor. Where the hell is my horse going? What the hell is that thing doing? 
I'm tr I'm trying to mount my horse game. I, I really am. There we go. Oh, hey, Nastus. How are you? Didn't see you there. Hey, Acme Quality. I told you there was an Acme school. I majored in dynamite. We're gonna kill someone, aren't we? Why is it named that? I think they are interested to find out what conclusions a white man has reached on hundreds of years of culture and society from the comfort of his hotel room. Wonderful! Do you think I could ask for a skin sample? Just, just stop talking, McDougal. I don't think that's a good idea. Just, yeah, good. Keep it that way. What I say? No kid. That's no small relief to have the two of you along with. I miss my hat. No, my hat's on there. I just thought my hat disappeared. I don't know why. I just did. Oh hey, what was that? Was that a fox? The foxy foxy fox? Oh shit! That is a bear. Why don't I have a gun? I knew there had to be a reason why it's called Bear Claw Cabin. I'm going to need another weapon. I am running out of pistol ammo. Well, that's just great. Who shot at it? Because I didn't shoot at it first. I didn't even see it. Oh. All right, let's do this. Don't stop, horse. Stop, stop, stop fucking stop. I hope I don't have to smoke a pipe. I wouldn't. You know what? I'm not even gonna say anything. Sir. That was my fault. I don't like how this is set up. Someone's gonna die, isn't they? Isn't they? Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals, scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, well, I... Well, violence isn't the answer! Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up! We come in peace! What was he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! <laughs> Holy shit! Damn! Touch! <laughs> Professor, get down now! Nastis! No! I liked him! Why do the good die so young in Red Dead Redemption? That's how you know I'll live forever. I'm a piece of shit. Wait, where did I get like 88 pistol ammo? Oh, because I'm not using the, the high power pistol. Which is what I wanted to be using. I thought I was using that. They all just kind of look the same to me when you're in a firefight. Which that shouldn't happen. Oh, Nastus. I'm not mount I'm not looting his body. I was about to say mount. I'm not doing that either. But uh yeah, let's let's get out of here. I wish we could you know, give him a proper burial. Seriously, I only I've only known him for like 2 minutes, but can we at least be nice to him? He was nice to me. Hey, look. Elk. At least I think it's elk. Oh shit! Ah oh, fuck, man! Didn't I shoot you? Oh god!
Bye bye. Hey, McDougal, where are you going? Wait up. I am definitely going to have to go buy ammo. Oh, great. Uh, Henry. Not a bird. Not the bird. Don't target the bird. Alright, let's just leave that last guy. And get out of here. Is he catching up with us? Oh. He really is. It's like he was on a horse or something. We actually get to make it? Not the first. I say the same. Blackwater. Oh, I will never talk ill of you again. Civilization in all its glory, Mr. McDougal. And am I glad to be back? I don't know. I think you could talk ill about this sudden pop-in. Something to clear the mind and restore the spirit. So you ain't planning on sleeping then? Sleep? My dear boy, I'll probably never sleep again. Where are we going? Where are we going, McDougal? Safe and sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of minds. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. Okay, I'm going to go buy some ammo, and I will see you guys in the next episode, where we will do another mission, probably with McDougal. Uh, anyway, I'm going to head there right now, guys. I hope to see you there.